Atlantis has always been a fascinating topic. It goes back as far as the ancient Greeks and Atlantis still makes a lot of questions arise. I will share at this time, over the years of walking between worlds, some of the secrets that I have uncovered about Atlantis. First of all, in my book, Secrets of the Hidden Realms, the Atlantean calendar is given, an extraordinary invention, accurate to within five minutes. The Atlantean calendar um, functioned on a 13-moon cycle basis, but has, in fact, got some of the Mayan calendar characteristics to it, such as the fact that it has days out of time. Days in which the etheric world and the physical world intermingle, a day to manifest and a day to set intentions. Another clock has emerged that is also interesting and works on the frequency changes that is found during a 24-hour period. Frequency changes that we would be able to map out if we took the time in birdsong itself. It's called the clock of the Jean Galabruc. So that some of the Jean Galabruc writings made it into our old libraries in Europe through the old alchemists. They are the lion people which the Sphinx actually commemorates. But in my book, The Gift of the Unicorns, the second half of that book gives a great deal of information about Atlantis because it is the dictation that I took from a group of beings known as the Darklings, the, the actual record keepers of history of the cosmos. So what we have is the story of Atlantis as far back as 18 cycles of life ago. A cycle of life is beyond what we can even imagine. It is ancient. Atlantis has existed for a very long time. Atlantis, from about a million years ago, existed as a large continent um, in the northern hemisphere, about the size of Australia. And then in 750,000 years um, from uh, ago, we ran into the problem where there was a major cataclysm when a comet hit the Earth. And at that time, it broke up into multiple little pieces. 250,000 years ago, there was another cataclysm. And after that, Atlantis became two islands. And one was called Ruta, and Ruta was the place of the dark magicians and the other became Aitaya. Aitaya was dedicated to a life of mystical impeccability, the way of the Toltec Nagwals. Toltec mysticism is an ancient form of mysticism and it had its origins on this island of Aitaya. It's only after 75,000 years ago, up until 10,900 and 54 years before the crucifixion of Christ, that we had the Atlantis that we think of. And at that time, it was called Poseidonus. Atlantis's destruction was not always the case um, in that it was caused by natural disasters. There are several accounts of where they actually did themselves harm because of their avarice to have the best weapons that there were. And on one occasion at least, such a weapon that had been procured from star beings from other planetary systems by Thoth blew up Atlantis. At that time, Thoth, then known as Chekatet Aralich Vomalitis, was its ruler. And so Atlantis destroyed itself.